I was going to go for the two, because they always tell me that in the game, try to go for the two, but especially if there's any bonus. Once I lost it, I was like, okay, well, we got a little three ball, and we made it. I mean, how good a look was it? A great look for me. I think it was a great look. Great look for me. I mean, it was open. I saw the basket. You never Coach. saw a shot you didn't like, did you? Never. All right. Coach, they got up on you guys early. Up 21 9. What did you tell your team in that timeout with about eight minutes left in the first half? It seemed to completely kind of start, ignite the spark that carried you guys through the rest of the game. I mean, I think I was yelling at Joe, to be honest with you, right? I mean, their length is, is elite at our level, you know? I mean, the way they can protect the rim, those big guys, is elite, and, and it was bothering us, you know? And I think nerves was a little bit of it, and just, you know, we're missing some shots that we don't want to make. So, um, you know, generally you can either be very calm and try to calm your guys down or you can yell at your best player and tell them to quit being so soft and it worked. So, uh, you know, stay at it. DJ, you have a reputation around here of coming up in big moments. It's like these big moments when everybody's struggling on the court and you somehow manage to come through in those moments. Is that something that you practice? Is that a mentality that you have? Um, I would just say it's, uh, the team is constructed. I feel like everyone has my back and I have theirs. So I feel like I just come in with the mindset, I'm going to give it my all. I know they're giving it their all. So that's just how it is, really. We just play hard. You know, people talk about the, the shots that DJ hit today, but the, the way that he can go over there and Greg is invaluable, right? And, uh, you know, he's the best matchup for us on the, on the team, and he did an outstanding job today. I hadn't seen the final box score, but you know, obviously Greg hit that last three, which is huge. But other than that, I think DJ, you know, did a great job today defensively. So I don't want that to be on, you know, go unnoticed. I know he hit some great shots and, and uh, you know, huge three, and, and you know, we're proud of him for that. But, but the way that he steps up and plays defense on Aaron Greg is is uh, is special. You guys shoot sixty one percent in the second half. Joe, DJ, what was the key there? What were you guys seeing against DTB's defense and what kind of flip between the two halves? What was yeah. anything? I think, I mean, maybe we just move the ball a little more, stop being so tainted at the rim, you know, just going up aggressive and realizing, all right, this could be the last game of the season. So we use the God-given gifts that we have to try to pull the ball. Yeah. I, just team-wise, we, we ran better offense, you know. I mean, what Joe's trying to say yeah. is, <laughs> is, is, is that, that we got to our spots and we got good spacing and we put them in some difficult situations having to, you know, guard the different types of guys that we have on the floor. So uh, they executed very well and, and really, you know, shared the ball. You know, we had great team shots tonight, I feel like. And, um, you know, hopefully this will carry us in, you know, for the next couple of weekends. You all watched DTBU win the conference championship on your home court. Was there any, did y'all think about that at all? Was there any extra gumption underneath this game to sure was, remind yeah. them whose court it is? It sure yeah. was. Yeah. He, he made us watch him cut our, cut our nets down, the whole game from start to finish. Yeah, it felt a lot from that. Yeah. Now, let me say this. This game tonight was a great showcase for Division Three basketball in Texas. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that, you know, we're going to end up with this Texas pod more times than not. It's just the geography of Division Three basketball. There's really nothing we can do about it. You know, we can try to, you know, s schedule our way out of it. We can try to do some different things. And, and But the, the fact of the matter is, is that Texas is going to have, you know, we're going to have to beat ourselves to get on. And it's a shame that East Texas Baptist, you know, can also make a run to the Sweet 16 because they're that good, you know. 
if you had told me coming into the night that East Texas Baptist won a national championship, I'd, I'd say, okay, yeah, I can see that. If you tell us that Mary Harden Baylor's going to make a run and win a national championship, I'd say, okay, yeah. So uh, my hat's off to Coach Lovell and those guys. I mean, Aaron Craig, Darren Moore, those guys are really, really good players. And hopefully, you know, we were the last game of the night. Hopefully there's a lot of eyeballs, you know, here in our second half. And hopefully, you know, the way that these kids went out and competed tonight garnered some respect across the country, across the nation for Division Three basketball in Texas. You know, I think that sometimes we just get stuck down here and people kind of, you know, forget about us. They don't they don't think that we can play or we're not the blue bloods of Division Three because, you know, we, we kind of came along to the Division Three late. These kids can play with anybody in the country. I'm telling you, East Texas Baptist can beat anybody in the country, right? These kids can play with anybody in the country. You saw that game last night, you know, with St. Thomas, these guys, and us, and, and Shriner, you know, like these are good teams that can play with anybody in the country. So, um, you know, I'm not a big, like, hey, we're not respected guy, right? I'm not going to get up here and bang my drum and, and demand respect. But anybody that watched that game tonight has to understand that these are two of the best teams in the country. And, um, really went after tonight, really got after each other, and, and it was just a special night that we'll always remember, okay? And we'll, uh, hopefully this will carry, you know, carry us through, and in, in the future maybe we can figure out a way to maybe split the Texas teams up in the tournament or find a way to kind of, you know, do it differently. But maybe we can meet this game as a Elite Eight game, a Final Four game, rather than a round of 32 every year. So really proud of my guys. I'm really proud of East Texas Baptist. I think that, that uh, overall that, that was a high-level basketball game. Uh, my hat's off to Coach Lovell and his staff and, and those kids. I mean, they played extremely hard. Every time that we tried to put them away, they just come back and hit a shot. And, um, you know, I, I just just really think that, you know, the excitement, the way the game ended, the excitement, like all that, it, it's going to be a, a, something that people going to be talking about, and rightfully so. So hopefully we can carry this momentum into the rest of the tournament. Last one for you, Coach. You guys will play Christopher Newport, Sweet 16. You guys advanced to the Sweet 16 for the second straight season. The maturity of this team, how important will that be? Because these guys, most of these guys have already experienced yeah. that second weekend before. I mean, it's going to be huge. I mean, you know, John Krikorian runs a great program out there, man. They're one of the best teams in the country year in, year out. They're really talented. Um, this is going to be a big time college basketball game on Friday night, you know. It'll be at Christopher Newport, I assume, you know, and, uh, uh, you know, that, their stands will be full. You know, they didn't get the host the first round because the women had the, the priority this week. So, uh, so that would be a rabid fan base. And, uh, you know, I just, I just hope that we can find a restaurant that's going to get me some crab cakes out there, you know. That's what you eat in Newport News, right, crab cakes? You ever been out there? You might look at this, man. I need uh, some suggestions. Campus, yeah. yeah, it's nice, huh? <laughs> yeah. So, hey, we're, we're fired up. We get on a plane on Wednesday and head out there, and, and, and it's going to be a high-level basketball game. You know, we'll be out there with St. Joe's. who's also very good. And, and um, who's going to be our third? Wheaton. Wheaton, right? So all four of these teams can go win a national championship, right? And uh, it, it's 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 a uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. That pod's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks.